on to a lighter note on to a lighter note well not actually no it's still it's still a horrible note never mind never mind can't even say it's a lighter note um you t- you know about the bridge um and this is top this is probably top five i said top 25 earlier but like now that i'm thinking about it again probably top top three worst things that i could imagine now the benefit of me living where i live is i don't have a bridge like there's no there's no i think there's the wind you got like the i don't know if windsor is a bridge or not i I haven't been there in like many 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 years but like we don't really got bridges you know what i'm saying in michigan or nothing like that you feel me we ain't got none of that major bridge really isn't there one in san francisco I remember watching one, or at least seeing it. Ah, oh, fuck. This this broke my heart. I saw it in the middle of the night. No bridges in Texas. Golden Gate. We got tunnels. Not you know what? Don't 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 do that. Don't do that. Don't 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 talk about the tunnels. The tunnels is actually worse than the bridge. The tunnels is actually worse than the bridge. But see, we we locked in though. We locked in. It's different. It's different. We got some, okay, so we got some, but I don't know who, who goes to fucking Mackinac, like, or the, like, I'm not going there. I mean, for, for the most part, not saying it'll never happen, but I saw this in the middle of the night, bro. My heart just broke into a million pieces. I, I, I assumed that this was in the morning and everybody was on a morning commute. That's what I assumed. I didn't know it was breaking at first. I thought that this happened like the day before. And I'm like, no, no. No, all those people, the kids in the car on the way to school, maybe early latchkey program because the parent got early, you know, they got to go to work early or something like that. Like, oh, my God, like my, my heart, oh, everything. I just felt horrible. I felt horrible. And I'm looking at it like, how did that happen? Like, this is like the uh, the apocalypse, some shit that you see happen in a movie. I'm like, no, all these people on a bridge. Fuck. I read the whole little thing, too. It said mass casualty event. I'm like, no. I don't want to see this bro 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 this is top this is top this is just top top three i know i said it was top 25 when we started the stream this is like top three fear and i know i don't ever realize this fear because i'm never on a bridge i don't ever have to cross a bridge to get anywhere i never have to you know what I'm saying? Go over anything that's major and risk my life. Um, but then somebody put even more fear into my heart when they showed me this. I'm about to show you this. If I can open this up. Uh, like this and then boom, maximize. Somebody showed me this. And uh, I don't know how y'all do this. I don't know how y'all do this. This is real. Like, it's not real, like, the the image in which you're seeing it, but it's real. And, like, like, bro, you, you have to be on this bridge, this particular bridge. It's 24 miles. You have to be on this bridge for, at a reasonable speed, probably, like, 30 minutes between 25 and 30 minutes you'd have to be on this bridge the one that we see over here it looked like that you could cross this bridge in maybe two minutes give or take maybe three if you're traveling at a reasonable speed this being 25 miles anything go wrong you could have made majority of your trip and then something happened at the end you're cooked this bridge wouldn't collapse in the same way. You're right. But something go wrong or something like that, you're sinking in. You got a better chance of survivability with this, actually, than you do with the other shit. But still, being over water on a bridge that I'm that I'm not sure of, that could really get, just get me out the way at any moment, I'm not taking a risk anymore. I'm not doing it. Why even do that to myself? I was looking into why this happened, and they gave some information uh, saying that this bridge was up to code based off of the, the the standards that were set in the 70s so whatever standards that were set in the 70s is what it was up to par 
four. That doesn't mean that it wasn't built well because this crashed into it. The ship crashed into the pillar of the bridge uh, where all of the weight, I guess, evens out or, or whatever, and then it just shattered. You're saying from 50 years ago, and I know that sounds bad, but you got to realize something that is as big as this ship traveling at the speed that it was traveling at is going to do massive damage. Like, it's not that the pillar is too weak. It's more that there should really be some shit around the pillar to prevent things like this from happening. So, like, they lost control of the ship, of the cargo. They lost control. Uh, I think the power went off. Before this clip started, the power on the ship went off. So then I'm thinking, okay, where's the generator? Where's the emergency generator for, for things to come back on? That might have went off, too. So it just crashes into the bridge because there's nothing protecting the pillars at the bottom from any type of impact, which they should have from this point. Worse than that, though, anybody who needs this bridge to go to work, fucked. Anybody who needs this bridge to go to school, fucked. Imports, fucked. Business, fucked. They said... In order to clean all this up, I don't know how long it's going to take to clean all this up, number one. But just to rebuild the bridge with current day technology, they're saying it's going to be five to ten years minimum. Minimum. Just to get this back in working order, working condition up to the standards that it should be for today. That's what they're saying. It's going to be a very long time before this is actually brought back up to a standard to where people can drive across this bridge again. I don't know how or what type of, I guess, transportation is going to be made available to get people across, like, from this area to the next. You see something like this, and it's just like you're completely cut off from this entire situation. I guess you could go around. This is going to add an additional hour to anybody's commute, an additional two hours to anybody's commute. You got work on the other side? Fuck. You're done. This is easily my worst fear. Not my worst. I'm trying to think of what my worst fear would be in this situation. Not in this situation, but in life in general. It ain't too much more that could, that, that could terrify me than being on something that is supposed to support me and then it completely collapsing underneath my feet. I think that actually might be my top worst fear. I've had dreams about that. You go to the mall one time, you on the second or third level of the whole establishment, and you just can't stop thinking to yourself, damn, man, what the fuck is supporting me right now? What if I just drop from all the way up here? What if I'm walking and the ground beneath me just sinks into itself? What if I'm in an elevator? God forbid I'm in an elevator. I'm taking the stairs mad times. I just, in that meeting that I was telling y'all about, elevator. I'm like, bitch, no, where are the stairs? I'm not getting in it. It's not happening. We got to get jetpacks? Mo nigga, we need to learn how to fly. Fuck a jetpack. I need DN evolution. I need wings. We're at a point now, humanity is boring as fuck. We're at a point now where we need wings. The danger in the in the in the in the ecosystems that we have currently in place are not optimal for human survivability. We need evolution. We got to start somewhere. I don't know how the wings is going to happen. Maybe our arm, maybe we lose ability in our arms and then our arms turn into wings. We turn like birds or some shit. I don't mind that, bro. I'll have hand wings if I need to. I'll have hand wings if I need to. I need to learn how to fly. Because this shit cannot happen. I cannot. This cannot be. You saying I lost you. I don't give a fuck. I would rather fly than have arms. Wait. I mean, I would rather have both. If I could have wings and hands, great. But the way evolution works is fucked up. It's the same reason why men lose hair on their on their head only, but they, they don't lose hair on their beard and they don't lose hair on their body. You get older and, 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 and the hair growth happens all over your body and shit like that, but you conveniently lose it on your fucking hair. That's dumb as fuck. The way life goes, we're more likely to have wings with arms or winged arms than we are to have wings and arms independent from one another. I'm just saying. Life is fucked up. What do you mean we lost? We're not lost. 
We can win this. We can beat this. We just need a, a scientist to slightly alter the DNA. We'd be good. Loki breathing underwater beats flying. It doesn't. Why would you want to be underwater? Now y'all just saying shit because if you learn to breathe underwater, the likelihood of you dying goes up exponentially. Just because you could go down in the water don't mean you could fight nobody down there. You're not strong enough to beat a shark. If a giant squid takes you and drags you underneath, you still die. He could still eat you. Piranhas, electric eels, squid, and, and, and fucking jellyfish, dolphins, killer whales. You're fucked. Why would I want to breathe underwater? I'm not going down there for what? What do you mean says who? There's nothing hazardous in the sky outside of a stray lightning bolt, which there might be some casualties if a lot of niggas start flying and shit like that. You might go too high. Icarus might have went too close to the sun. Outside of that, you get pecked in the eye by an eagle, but you, sur you survive. You might run into a plane, fall into the motor or some shit. You can see a plane coming from a mile away, though. A fighter jet has a bigger chance of, like, hitting you out the way. A storm might be fucked up. You might be screwed. You got to check the weather, though. Fly within the vicinity. Fly only on clear days. I don't need to fly every day, but just knowing that I can. You know what I'm saying? And, and just because I can fly don't mean that I need to fly up to the sky. Sometimes I just need to fly and levitate. If I could levitate in this situation, I could save my life. This is just sad. Age requirements for flight. Sudden winds. Look, man, y'all just saying extra shit now. You get blown away by some wind, bro. Gain some weight. I don't know what to tell you. But yeah, man, like this, this bridge thing has been on my mind for a minute. And um, I'm going to try to avoid them at all costs. I know that's not really a reasonable position to have, but... What do you what do you say? What do you do? Or at least check on the side to see if it's a ship coming. Me personally, I'm not saying people got to do that, but just me, I just I can't I can't think of anything else but that.